So we've been learning about Paul Clay, and you're going to make a picture of a musical instrument, but then like Paul Clay did, you're going to show how that musical, or that musical instrument sounds. This instrument, I believe that's bass clarinet, okay, bass clarinet has a lot of keys on it. So I'm just going to simplify this. When you sketch your instrument, you can draw kind of sloppy at first. Okay, so that goes like that, and that curves down, and then goes up, and then like that. Okay, so I'm going to simplify it. I'm not going to draw every single valve and button and you know, all that. I'm going to just simplify it. I'm just going to do some of the buttons. Maybe I can do that on the read. Now I can go back in and kind of neaten things up go over the lines that I want to keep. Okay, so I can do that. I can put some more down here and maybe some more down here and do that. So I'll go over my lines a little bit darker now. Okay, yes, it's okay if it goes off the edge of the paper. It looks better than if you try to make something smaller and squeeze it in. Okay, so now i got to show how it sounds with lines and shapes. So I know that this instrument can go so I can make maybe some squiggly lines doing this like that, and coming down like this. But I know it can make some real staccato kind of sounds like bump 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 bump. Okay, so I can make some some ovals like that. To show that part, I'm going to make them kind of big. Yes, I'm going to overlap a little bit like that, but I'm also going to divide this up, and you'll see why in just a minute. I'm not going to let those shapes just stay there. i got to divide this up like puzzle pieces, like it's a big, giant puzzle. Okay, so now the next step, after you get done drawing, you're going to take an oil pastel, either red, yellow, or blue. Those are your choices. Do not use green. Do not use purple. Do not use orange, black, brown, nothing like that. Red or blue or yellow. You get three choices. I'm going to use red for this one. Okay? And you're going to trace over the lines that you want to keep. I'm not going to trace over my mess up lines, just the lines that I want to keep. So I trace over everything all the lines that I want to keep. <coughs> and I'm pressing down a little bit because I want these lines to be really heavy. Here's what you don't want to do where it's just very light like that. No, you want to press down. And if you, you know, miss a line, that's okay. Alright, so like that. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then the next step, you're going to paint it. Okay? So to paint it, you're going to experiment. This is the part where you kind of become scientists, where you see, hmm, what happens if I mix red with this color? And then you'll paint it in. What happens if I mix red with this color? And then you paint it in. When you're ready for the painting part, and I bet some of you will be today, all the painting supplies are by the sinks. So you need one box of water and two boxes of paint, and they will be on either side of the water box in the middle of the table. That way, if you run out of a color, like this one's out of red, you've got red in the other one. Okay? If you run out of a color, there are refills, and it's got to be gone. You see how this one's gone? See how that red is gone, 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 not a little bit, but gone, gone? Okay? That's when you can go get a refill, or you can go switch boxes. Okay? All right. So anyway, so I used red on this picture, red line. So I'm going to use red in every single color. So you put your brush in, wipe, wipe, wipe three times on the side. That keeps it from being too wet. I'm going to stir, stir my brush in there to load it with red. This is going to be your palette. Everybody gets one of these. Okay? They're also in the back room. So you get your own. Okay? So I put some red in there. I may even put a little dot over here and I can use it later. Wash my brush out in between colors, always. And maybe this one I'm going to try some yellow. Okay. 
And I'm going to stir this up and see what happens if I mix yellow into the red. Orange. Make some orange. So then I will paint that orange in one of the spaces. I could even do it in two of the spaces. Okay. I don't like how watery that's looking. You see how I can see the paper in between? Okay. So that <coughs> means I need to use less water. So I'm going to make some more red. Okay. And then it's my brush. Wipe, wipe, wipe. I may even do it six times just to make sure it's out. Okay. So if your color is very, very see-through, use less water. Oh, that's a little better. That's better. Okay. Okay. So you paint neatly inside one of the spaces until the whole thing is colored in. If I were you, if it was me, I wouldn't color just one shape. I would color in like two or three shapes with that color and then it will go faster. Okay? But you have to paint this top to bottom, left to right. That means the whole thing has to be colored. If you choose blue, every shape has to have blue mixed into it. If you choose yellow, yellow has to be in every color that you mix in here. Understand? Yes, ma'am. So you're going to experiment with one of those primary colors. Okay? You can make every Yeah. So at the end of class, brushes should be rinsed, wipe, 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 and they will be put hair side up back in that can in there. Okay? Don't worry about washing these. I'll take care of it. These will just get dumped in the sink, lay them on the counter, and then these will get put back too. All right? Get it? Got it? Good. Go.